nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody this we are getting ready to get out of here yeah it's just about five o'clock and i just had to clean my my windshield a little bit there's a lot of bugs on it so yeah so now we're gonna get out of here so that's come along and join us on our journey today and let's have fun at it well guys we are cruising along here been going for a little while already and we are in uh Sioux Falls, South Dakota now, yeah. As I told you guys that we were starting early this morning. We certainly did. Certainly did. Just figured I'd show you guys a little bit of night driving. Yeah, it's almost quarter, well, about 37 minutes after 6 now. While we're going through here, but... We got probably about another hour and a half to go till we will be in Iowa. Yep. Yeah. That's what I think anyways. Yeah, so let's continue on rolling down the road and see what the day will have in stock for us. Alrighty guys, we are here at a uh, pullover area in South Dakota. I'll have to see uh, what the DOT wants today. Yeah, we got a DOT sitting in here today. So uh, Let's see what they want today. See if they got anything interesting going on today. been under a 
a lot of construction lately. Speed warning. Yep, this whole stretch right here is completely new. Continue I know on this it road used to be a little different there. Even RJ is confused though. He says, where are you driving? Straight border ahead. <laughs> He's screaming straight border ahead. He thinks I'm going that way <laughs> towards Nebraska, you know. But the other day when I had to take that detour, I had to come this uh, from there. I came onto this uh, I-29 up here, and that's when I went right over this overpass. And so I know Nebraska is that way. Proceed to the highlighted route. Yeah. No, he's finally recalculating and. He's showing me I'm driving in the middle of the field somewhere, you know. <laughs> yeah, because this stretch is completely new. <laughs> there we go. Got that taken care of. Yeah. I've always found this bridge to be fairly interested, you know. They got some weird things, more. Uh, I don't know, screwed together or whatever you want to call it, but some weird artifacts up here on the bridge. That looks different, you know. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but definitely different. So just figured I'd show you guys that a little bit. Yeah, we're going to be continuing on I-29 for quite a while yet. I think I'm gonna go up to that exit 10 highway where we was at a while back ago when uh, when that accident was up there and I had to take that detour to go up there in Nebraska what I was just talking about coming out over there I think we're gonna go up to that pilot we'll go fuel up over there then I'll be almost out of Iowa like only 10 more miles, you know. In one mile, keep to the right on I-29 South. Construction ahead. Well, we will do that, RJ. We will do that. So let's get down the road and see what else will be new. Alrighty, guys. We just entered into Missouri. Missouri. And this is how Missouri welcomes us. Now that's your custom bot answer, and that's my buddy right in front of me there <laughs> talking in German while I'm videotaping that's yeah I don't ask yep now we gotta go across this Missouri scale Missouri scale yeah that's right Oh well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Seems like on this trip pretty much every darn scale has been open. Oh look at that, that one bobtail he has to go into the inspection area. At least it looks like it. He's in the back there, that's for sure. <laughs> as long as they don't pull us into the inspection stage, we're good. <laughs> Miles and miles of trucks rolling into end. What a sight to see! How did it all begin? Corporal Norm said, Help me! So the drivers all pitched in, and with hearts of gold, they hit the road for his special friends. Now there's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything
They all come together the same time every year From coast to coast, north to south, they graciously appear Bringing hope and lots of love, loaded on 18 wheels They'll jam some gears and shed some tears to show how truckers feel There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load When those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Will the humming of the engines, the blowing of the horns, the black smoke filling up the air. It's the greatest show on earth. Imagine what it's worth to that smiling face who sees someone that cares. There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come and spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Yeah, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything done for today pretty much yeah we're at a uh, truck stop only about 32 miles away from our uh, delivery yeah but this is one of the last truck stops before our uh, delivery place and we have already gotten a reload yeah we have that's for sure and uh, I had me a nice shower over here and I'm kind of excited right now. I really am. I'm kind of waiting on somebody to show up over here. And if he really does show up over here, you will have seen the video by the time this video is released. Because I'm planning on releasing that one on Saturday and Sunday, which was this last weekend prior to you watching this video. So, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of excited. He's a YouTuber as well, and I'm not going to say any names right now or anything like that because uh, I want to make sure he shows up, right? That's right. But anyways, I'm so excited I can't wait to meet him, you know, so I will uh, talk to you guys a little later on and see what happens, right? Well, guys, that's it for us for today. We are done for today. Oh yeah, we did have ourselves a good time with Pale Rider TV. Yeah, we did have a good meeting up with him and uh, had a good talk. We had lots of fun, lots of videoing and a couple of pictures, all that good stuff. But uh, now we're done. We gotta go to bed and get up tomorrow early morning. Well, not super early, but early enough, you know. Go deliver our load and then uh, have, make our way over to our reload. I think we got a reload out of Lebanon, uh, Missouri. Pick up something over there and go back to Manitoba. Go back home for the weekend. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy about that, so. Anyways, that's about what we get today. So be sure to stick around for tomorrow. We, you never know you never know what comes up tomorrow might be something good happening tomorrow so we'll see you guys again tomorrow have a good one it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking
again to walk.